to my channel. Well, in this episode, we are not looking at these here Fat Shark goggles because these things are friggin' expensive. If you want to get into FPV race quad, drone racing quad, racing, all that good stuff, well, you need Fat Sharks or something similar. These are the top of the line, the gold standard, but these are friggin' expensive. It could be $600 or $400, depends where you live. And uh, I have these instead. These are like $80, and this is what I'm going to show you today. These are goggles similar to Fat Sharks, but um, yeah, a lot cheaper. So let's open it up and try them out. Now, as I'm opening the box here, these are called the Top Sky Prime 2 FPV goggles, and they actually have two antennas. They say they're diversity, but I'm not really sure. Got to try them out. So inside you get the instructions, and then you get all the goodies inside. So let me take this out. We have some a USB cable here. I assume that's to charge it because from reading the instructions, there's actually a battery in here that uh, you don't have to provide your own. So you get two antennas because, well, they're diversity. So you have a 5.8 gigahertz module on one side of the goggles and a 5.8 gigahertz module on the other side of the goggles so that no matter where your quad is, it should pick up the signal. And the name of these goggles are the Top Sky Prime 2. Let's take a close look at all the features on the top. So the first thing we have over here is the power button. Just hold it down for a bit and it powers on. Here you have a record button for the DVR and here's your control for the DVR and there's your play button. So basically this section here you're going to put a micro SD inside here, micro SD card, so that you can record the video coming from your drone into the goggles. Whatever you see will be recorded on the little DVR. It's not too bad. And then over on this side, you have your mode, so you can switch modes for whatever you're watching on your screen. You know, you can go into one mode to another. You have your channel select here. You have 40 channels. You have your bands right there, so you have so many bands, and your search function to find the video. I'll push all these buttons and show you what it does inside in a second. And over on this side here, we have one of our little 5.8 gig module antennas, and the other side... 5.8 gig module antennas. These are receivers, obviously, to receive the signal. Nothing in the front, just a piece of plastic. And let's just flip it over this way. On the bottom over here, we have a USB charging spot. So would you want to charge these up? Plug in a USB cable, charge them up. You have your headphone jack here. Certainly you can use these and put headphones on because a lot of times FPV quads will send an audio signal too. So you hear audio as, as well as see video and you can listen to it with the headphone jack. And then over here you have your IP D switches so if you are somebody with eyeballs close together or eyeballs far apart you can adjust it here close together far apart and over here you have your little diopter so if you're somebody who wears glasses and you need the screen to be a little farther away or a little bit closer you can adjust it with these and on the side here you have an on and off switch for your actual receiver you can turn your receiver off so that you can watch some other input right here it's got audio visual in if you plug something into that a video cable then you'll see the video signal coming into there with that switch and if we look at the inside of the goggles where your eyeballs go you can see right here you have your one eye looks in there and the other eye looks in there you have some nice padding that goes around your face so it doesn't hurt and if you look right here I'll just pull that padding away that's where your micro SD card goes right in there and I'll show you here as well it does come with a built-in battery so I'll just open this pull this off and right in there you can see I believe that is your battery right there pull this out I can see it's a JST connector right there attached to your battery the battery seems like it's glued in because I can't yank it out but uh, yeah so it comes with a built-in battery that's pretty decent if you wanted to replace it you could yank it out I guess and put a bigger one in and it just attach the cable antenna screw on the side like this these are the ones that come with it you could replace them with nicer antennas if you want. And here you have it with both antennas connected. All right, I have a battery on my quad here and the camera is active. So all I'm gonna do is turn these on and see what type of picture I get. So the power button is right here. Just hold that in for a bit and should hear a beep. There we go. And they're gonna power on. That's what you see inside. Of course, if you had your eyeballs there, it'd look a little bit better. Now let's hit our little button up top for search and find our FPV quad. Hit search. And let's see what's going on inside. It's going through all the channels. It should come to a signal. It should find it. Oh, that beep meant it found it. There it is. All right, I'm out at my local field and I've got these goggles. Now, I'm pretty excited about these goggles because when I first was trying to get into FPV drone flying, the goggles were uh, astronomical like the price for them it was way too expensive so these ones here I think they might even be like $70 US I don't know I checked the website and it looked like a $70 US I was saying 80 they might even be 70 but for the features you get you get almost the same features that you get on fat shark goggles obviously they're not fat sharks they're a lower quality 
the resolution is lower and of course you know your antennas and the components and the receivers is going to be lower it's going to be less than fat shark but still for the price getting into fpv uh, if something like this existed when i started that would have been amazing so one thing i have to note that i've already noticed with these goggles is the following you see what i'm wearing i'm wearing sunglasses but these aren't your normal sunglasses these are prescription sunglasses in other words they have my eye prescription because i'm farsighted that means if i take these off i can see the cars and the trees far far away but i can barely see my hand it's a big blur so i need the glasses to see things close now guess what happens when i put these on the lenses are right here close to my eyeballs so the problem is is that when i put these on i tried them indoors the image is a little blurry i've tried adjusting everything and it's still a little blurry you know it's not massively blurry but it's a little blurry it's not crystal clear i have to pull them up away from my head a bit to get it crystal clear and you wouldn't put your glasses on and uh, put these over top of your glasses well you could try it but the reason you wouldn't do that is because all this light is coming in the bottoms and the sides where your glasses are so when you have a seal you want it to be pitch black so that you see everything so i'm going to fly them here it's going to be a little bit blurry but you're going to see and there's a dvr in here i've already mentioned that it records to a micro sd of course it records super super low resolution just like on fat sharks fat shark dvrs record super low resolution it looks terrible compared to what you're seeing inside but i'll record it anyways to show you what the quality of the dvr is and it's going to be low resolution and i also have on my fpv drone over there on the top i put a gopro so it's going to record at 4k and then i'll switch between the 4k and the dvr you're, the dvr is going to look really bad when i do that but it's just going to show you more importantly i just want to show you see these two antennas they say they're diversity because they're on either side and you have two receivers uh, i just want to show using these antennas which are you know you'd replace them if you look at my fat sharks i've replaced my antennas with something really decent uh you wouldn't fly with these even in beginner mode because you wouldn't get very much distance but i'm just going to show you what kind of distance i get just flying around the soccer field here and if they work you'll see a perfect image in the dvr if they're not good for reception you're going to see all sorts of lines all over the place so let's give it a shot right here's a little power button i'll power them on you'll hear a beep beep there you go they're on and to start the record, let me just see if I have an image. Yeah, I see what my drone sees. So if I want to start the recorder, right here is another button right there. It says record DVR. Just hit it once. There we go. We're recording. Now, hopefully the reception's good on here so I don't lose my little drone. Another thing I should mention too is what I'm noticing right now is it is a red plastic and right here, I can actually see the glow from the sun. It looks pretty cool. This like Terminator. I can't show you what it looks inside, but I do see the red, the light glowing through this portion right here. All right. So if you look at my screen, let me just see. I've got the switches here. I'm going to power this on. So I'm going to put it in acro mode. There we go. We're in acro and uh, we'll take off and I'll fly nice and slow. Even though I'm in acro mode, I should be able to fly slow. So there we go. So here I am flying with these glasses, turning to the left. You can see what I see going over the field. So if I can fly like this, even though I'm far sighted, that means that they're fine. You can still do FPV. I can see all the lines on the ground. There we go. I'm keeping it nice and low, nothing fancy here. You can see how the sun affects it. And you see those lines? I don't know if you can see lines flying through. That's the DVR. Uh, that would be the reception with these two antennas. So if I go this way, so now the antenna on one side of my goggles is picking up the, re uh, the video reception. And then as I turn this way, I'm away from the video reception. And now the other antenna picks it up on the other side of my goggles because of the way the, uh, the video uh, transmitter on the drone is adjusted. So, and you see that tower in the back? You see there's a big tower up there? That's a cell tower, so that gives me interference. So that's not too bad that I'm uh, actually getting this. I'm just doing the perimeter of a soccer field to show you right here that uh, you can fly these in a soccer field with the included antennas in the problem. All right, is that pretty cool or what? So uh, let me take these and do something a little bit more spectacular for you here. Okay, so here we go. Pick up some speed now. We go racing, we have some trees down here. And let's go see if I can see in between the trees, no problem. There we go. I can see enough to make out that I can make it through those trees. I can make it over that tree. And uh, let's see, there's little trees down here. Let's dive to these. Whoa, I can see that. And what else can I see? Oh, I can see there's a net on that, so I want to go to the right of it, right here. Whoa, <laughs> that's pretty good. All right. 
skim the tops of these trees and zoom around at high speed. I love doing these high speed turns. And there we go, we're still on that R1 battery. All right, let's bring her back over here and drop down to a dive. Come down by the trees nicely. And see this round circle over here? Right here. I'm gonna land it in this little circle. See right here. See this little circle right there on that dot. Oh, on, you can do it, Steve. There's where's that dot? It's right here. It's like a little let's bring it down. I think we're pretty close. Alright, here's the line. I'm following the line. This line should take me because the circle's at the end of this line. Move the camera up a little bit. What do I see? Do I see my drone? <laughs> Am I even close? Oh, I thought I was close. All right. I'm not a pro FPV flyer. That's what I was trying to land on this little thing here. But uh, there's my drone right over here. All right. Okay. All right, let's take this back and turn it off and then uh, check out the goggles. All right. Kill the battery in this. There we go. Battery's out. So right now, as we're standing here, I've not seen the DVR video from this on a big screen monitor computer, but you've seen it because I, you know, I put the 4K video, plus I put the video of me sitting there flying this thing, and then I put the video DVR coming off of this, and you could see all three, and you could uh, see what it looks like. Now remember, even if I would have used my Fat Shark goggles and recorded the DVR, it would look almost identical to this, because this records in low analog resolution, like really, really low res. It's it's just so you can record your flight, but it's not made for anything cinematic. Uh, that's what the GoPro's for. So anyways, if you have an FPV drone, throw a GoPro on it, you'll get great footage. It was just to show you kind of what my eyes are seeing inside, but my eyes see something better than what I showed you on the DVR, because the DVR is a very low resolution. So uh, in my little tryout with this, it was not bad. I didn't lose reception. I didn't get too many lines, like I'm used to flying. So I can fly through lines and interference on the screen and anything like that. So I was able to see the trees fly through things and do all sorts of other good stuff. Not crystal clear. I'm used to flying FPV, so you know when I see blotches, I can tell where the openings are and other things. If you buy these and you're like me and you're farsighted, you might find them to not be crystal clear. If you're nearsighted, they probably work perfect. And if you don't wear glasses at all, or you have a really tiny prescription, then they're gonna be crystal clear and work perfect because they have lots of adjustments. But if you have terrible eyesight like mine, where I can't even see my hand in front of my face unless I put on glasses, then it will be a little bit blurry. But for the price, my God, to get into FPV drones, for the price, it's pretty darn decent for what it does. It does almost everything that a fat shark goggle does and the only thing to upgrade it is uh, just change your antennas put a mushroom antenna here and maybe a little uh, patch antenna here you know and uh, you'll be fine and the only other thing to mention that some people might point out is that the battery is built in and uh, for people who are professional fpv drone flyers or people who are like hobbyists like me that like to fly fpv we go out and fly at a lot of events and we like to have Two batteries with us sometimes three for our goggles because we will fly for an awfully long time and we have a ton of batteries for our fpv drones since this is built in as soon as this battery is up well that's pretty much it unless you pull this bottom off and you plug in an external battery right here you can literally tape it on the bottom because you saw there's a jst plug and uh, you can put an external battery right there and go all day and power it and keep on going so i think the design of these are really good i really don't have any complaints you know i'm reviewing this as a beginner would buy these because no professional is going to buy these so for a beginner i would recommend these these seem to work quite well for a beginner especially for the price i haven't seen anything on the market this good for that price all right hope you enjoyed this review i'm going to put a link below to where you can find these and there's more information about them if and i missed anything when i was chatting here just post a comment below and i'll try to answer it the best i can all right thanks for watching the video give it a thumbs up and i will catch you in the next one